disruptions in supply chains, empty shelves, civil unrest, and an overreaching government. Man, if these things remind you of anything in the near and recent past, you're not gonna wanna miss out on the opportunity to add something like this into your kit bag. Coming up. Hey team, welcome to the channel, man. As always, I am stoked to see you. When I come across amazing opportunities that I know is gonna benefit myself and my family, something that I wanna pass on to you and to yours as we all continue our journey of becoming more self-reliant, right? And as we look through the course of history, there is one thing that has been the number one killer to humanity, and that's bacterial infections. Throughout history, man, we've had almost no ability to be able to fight these things. But in recent times with modern medicine, especially things like penicillin and the continuing development of medicine in general, we've been able to fight and put back these deadly bacteria that are out there that are plaguing us. In fact, today, 2,000 people will die from diarrhea alone. 2,000 people a day. Right, they don't have access to these types of medication. And it's easy for us today to sit back who has uh, medical care on tap, if it were, right? You can call your PCM. You can go to the doctor. You can get a prescription. You can go to the pharmacy and get it filled and take it home and get better. If needed, you can get inpatient care. These things we take for granted. But as most of the world can testify, this is not something that we should be taking for granted. And medication like this doesn't come around all that often. I want to I preface this a couple ways. One, I'm not a doctor. I'm your huckleberry. And I would never tell somebody to not talk to your PCM to get the best health care that's right for you and for your family. So take this, Look at your kit, look at your health, look at your, your specific situation and decide the best plan for you and your loved ones. But we're gonna look at uh, a couple different things here um, as we continue to talk about why we should be concerned and about what Jace Medical has to offer for you today, whether you're in the United States and Canada. There are hundreds if not thousands of types of bacteria, right? Some of them we need in our body to help us process and digest food and break everything down. And some of them will absolutely destroy your day, week, year, or life. If you've ever dealt with any sort of bacterial infection, leave a comment down below and let us know uh, how, how you got through that, right? It happens to us all the time. It's something, again, that I think we take for granted. So the type of bacteria out there that we need to be uh, concerned and looking out for is obviously you know, bio things like anthrax, but we got giardia, uh, sore throat uh, can be caused by bacteria, tetanus infections, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, ear infections, bite wounds, botulism, pneumonia, and the list goes on. And most of us, we don't have the ability to treat these types of things because it takes medication that comes with a prescription in order to be able to do that. But what happens again when those supply chains are empty? What happens if you're off grid? Wife and I were heading off to the Gifford National Forest this weekend. In the event that we came across some sort of infection and we couldn't make it to a doctor, we couldn't get a prescription, what would happen then? Well, today I can tell you that we're gonna be safe, we're covered. I want you to be covered as well. And again, man, this kit is gonna treat all these infections and more, and it's available to everybody in the United States and Canada, right? So it can be difficult to get antibiotics, right? If you've ever gone to the doctor to try to get some, uh, A, you're probably not gonna get some to have as a stockpile or a part of your kit. Again, whether it's for your house, a cabin, or some sort of a, a bug out kit, right? Not just going to prescribe you any any of this medication to have, at least probably not without a fight. 
And with supply chains, you know, being what they are, the global economy being at risk of, of taking another turn for the worse, we have to do everything we can do now in order to be prepared for then. So according to Market Watch, man, uh, on this note too, you know, the U.S. essentially has had zero ability to produce antibiotics since at least 2004. In fact, 90% or more of all the key ingredients come from one country in the world. One country. Leave a comment down below if you can take a guess as to what country that is. Oh, by the way, it's probably the same country that so many other goods come from. And we still see today empty shelves of all types of things that we need, right? This is not something that I'm willing to accept the risk on. Of course, the impact is, you know, in some kind of uh, emergency, uh, if things do take a turn for the south again, because it's not if, right? We already know it's not if, it's when. Access to these life-changing medication may be something that we're going to have to risk. So Jace Medical um, is 100% legal. It was founded by uh, Dr. Sean Rowland. He's a board-certified family physician. And what happens when you go to their website is, in fact, let's pull this thing up. We're going to go through, and you can see, you know, you start your consult right there at the top, right? And so when you click on that Start the Consult, you're going to fill out a form, right? Because there, it, it's, a, it, it's a telemedicine service, right? You, so you fill out your information. And then that board certified doctor is going to review all of it, along with all the medication that you're taking. Is going to look at your height, your weight, all of these other factors. And is going to order a medical kit like this, filled with five antibiotics. And in about a week, you're going to have it at your front door. But the website has a lot more than that, you know, whether or not we're talking about, you know, uh, the medication that we need for everything from wound infections to pneumonia, diarrhea, how to prepare for a global pandemic. They're, uh, they had a lot of information on their blog as well, not just about what they offer, but just all kinds of really valuable information. And they're always available for uh, ongoing care, right? I reached out to Jace a few times. I had a couple questions myself, and they were super quick, both via email and telephone, to be able to address my concerns in a timely manner and one that made sense to me. And I'm, I'm a freaking crayon eater, so if it can make sense to me, I know it will to you. You guys are a lot smarter than I am out there. Again, these things are available uh, to everybody in the U.S. and Canada as well. I want to say that the ones in the States around 250 Canada's around 350 check for up-to-date pricing I do know from having conversations with them that they're actively working on reducing the cost right now they do not accept any sort of insurance for payment so it's it, it's your it's your it's your hard-earned money that's coming out of this right not, not your insurance companies process is simple straightforward and after you get uh, your kit in a box Open this thing up, man. You got five medication and an antibiotic guide. On this note, right, even I'm not that smart. So I need this guide, but more so, you need to be able to identify infections by their symptoms. So having ad additional resources, books that you can lean on to, because you don't want to just lean on to the internet and WebMD to try to identify a dadgum bacterial infection. You need to be smart and you need to not play with these things like they are some sort of off-the-shelf medication. It's not Tylenol. They're prescription medication, right? So again, you're going to get a case of five individual antibiotics. Life shelf, uh, shelf life on these things, if kept in the proper climate, is probably going to be three to five years, right? So it's going to last you a long time. Medication includes amoxicillin, doxycillin and, and other cillins that, that I don't know how to pronounce because I am not a freaking doctor. Looking through the uh, antibiotic guide is really laid out pretty well. So it talks about uh, what you should know before you start taking medication and then it goes through uh, contents by drug, what, what all you have in the kit itself 
and what they are typically used to treat. And then it goes through uh, contents by condition. Just breaking it down a little bit different. And then uh, some different information and cautions based off of each medication. And, uh, just all kinds of information to look out for and to be smart on. So absolutely fantastic guide. Again, this guide is not enough. Uh, I think you need additional supplies and books and research on your bookshelf. Just like we ha you may have for plumbing and HVAC. Alright team, uh, just a short conversation piece about something I'm going to add into my kit bag. I wanted to pass on to you all as well. Let me know what you think down in the comments below about the value that this may have in your preparations for a more self-reliant life. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all, man. Y'all, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.